Hello everybody, Professor D here. Today we're going to learn how to create an e-portfolio in Canvas. So let's get started. First of all, you're going to click on accounts and then you're going to click on e-portfolio. You're going to see make an e-portfolio, e-portfolio name, you can name your e-portfolio whatever you want. I call mine's example uh, portfolio. You're going to make it public and you're going to say make an e-portfolio. So in your e-portfolio, you automatically have a home page. So you're going to go to the welcome page and every e-portfolio must have a welcome page. You're going to edit this page and you're going to say welcome to my page or welcome to your e-portfolio. And then whatever you want to say, okay? It doesn't like me putting the E in front of the portfolio. So you're going to say, welcome to my e-portfolio or whatever you want to say. And then you're going to say what you're showing them in your e-portfolio, okay? If you want to add a image to this e-portfolio, you're going to go to image file upload. You're going to browse out for your image. Once you find your image, it's going to be listed here. You're going to uh, upload the file. But I do recommend that you put in all your words before you upload the file. Okay, so I'm going to cancel this. You know how to make your sections. You're going to organize sections. You're going to add a section. And what I did for mine is I made a professional, professional goals for my life, right? And then I said add section, and I did a professional coursework. And then the first one would be Google Drive. Okay. And then you keep adding sections until you have all of your sections. So um, if I want to go to, go back to my ePortfolio, and then I want to go to Google Drive, and I want to edit this page because I want to put in my information, I want to make sure that I say page name is um, professional coursework. And this is going to be Google Drive. And then from there, I'm going to say Rich Text Editor. I'm going to put in whatever I want to say. I want to also show off my work. So I'm going to add an image. Now, how do you get the images from your Google Drive? So let's go over that. We're going to use the sniffing tool. So let me go to my Google Drive first. So I'm going to search, however you search on your computer, I'm going to put an SIP. It brings up this sniffing tool. The sniffing tool will let me cut any document that I want. So I'm going to click on that. It says sniffing tool. It says new and mode. I'm clicking the drop down arrow for mode. I'm going to rectangular snip. And that lets me outline exactly what I want to capture. So I want to capture this. Everything is in the red. And here it is. And I'm going to say file. Save as. And I'm going to call it what I want to call it. And in this case, it's sheets. And I have one already named that. So it's going to ask me. And then what I can do from here is go back to my ePortfolio. I'm going to add my upload, right? I'm going to browse out to it. Then once I browse out to it, it's going to be here. And then I'm going to select and upload the file. I do recommend that you put in all your words first before you um, put an image in. And then put all your images in. Make sure you read your requirements document so that you make sure that you're capturing all of the requirements that you need to have in your ePortfolio. So let me go back and look at my example ePortfolio that I made. Example uh, ePortfolio, go to actual ePortfolio, and this is my welcome page. So I'm telling people, welcome to my ePortfolio and uh, where I teach and what my ePortfolio will show the people 
who are going to look through or at my e-portfolio. I'm going to my professional goals and I listed my professional goals. Now you don't have to have professional goals if you don't want to, that's fine. I'm also going to uh, professional coursework, which is Google Drive, and I have an image of the drive and I'm explaining what Google Drive is, what I've learned in the class is what you're going to explain and how you applied it to the real world or how are you going to apply it to the real world for each of these items. Make sure you read the requirements documents. I also have a professional resume. So I listed my resume. You don't have to do that if you don't like. It's up to you. I have my contact information and I use the school's uh, contact information for that. And of course, this is bogus. But just to give you an example of what an e-portfolio um, looks like. All right. If you have any questions, just email me and I'll see you all in the next lesson. Bye-bye.